Welcome to Madison Square Garden and the Big Ten Men's Tournament. Our first game of the night session, a seven versus a two, as Penn State faces the Ohio State Buckeyes. This tournament presented by SoFi. And the bracket, Michigan State and Michigan have advanced to the semifinals and will play tomorrow. Two spots remain. Purdue and Rutgers will tee it up later on tonight. And we've got two major stars in college basketball competing tonight. Tony Carr, sophomore for Penn State, first team all Big Ten. Kata Bates Diop, the Big Ten player of the year for the Buckeyes. Hi everybody, Gus Johnson along with the governor, <laughs> Coach Bill Raftery, and welcome to the Garden Big Ten Tournament. Mm -hmm. Penn State beat Ohio State twice during the regular season. The Buckeyes have to respond tonight, and in order to do that, their best player has to step up. You love stars. I do. Yeah, why not? Like I'm sitting next to up. one. Well, I wouldn't go that far, uh, but he can put a team on his shoulder as he did this year. Great leadership qualities, good understanding with his footwork, his vision, his ability to do a little bit of a dance. Get you off balance and drill it big time. I love the pinch post entry that they love to run. A little ISO because he can dominate with a three. Obviously, he can put it on deck and break it down. But here, the ability to finish in that lane with a little floater big time. For Penn State, Tony Carr has been a scoring machine. He's a talented sophomore from the city of brotherly love where you play really? college well, basketball. And they want him to play well tonight as well. He played quite as well as this guy, but he does so many things for his team. Always seems to be under control, has different gears, different shifts, can make a little kiss. That could be painful for the Buckeyes, that first one that they beat him. And in the second encounter, just great control. I love how he manufactures post-ups, gets the lean, knocks it down. All right, Penn State, Ohio State for the third time. Now it's time for the introductions. Here's public address announcer Ron Kish. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. Tonight's quarterfinal game in the 2018 Big Ten Tournament is between the number seven seed, Penn State, Ohio State Buckeyes. And now let's meet tonight's Discover Card starting lineup. At forward for Penn State, a 6'9 freshman, number 21, John Hurrah. At forward for Ohio State, a 6'9 freshman, number 34, Caleb Wesson. And forward for the Nittany Lions, a 6'8 sophomore, number 11, Lamar Stevens. And forward for the Buckeyes, a 6'7 junior, number 33, Peter Green. Yeah. At guard for Penn State, a 6'5 sophomore, number 10, Tony Carr. At forward for Ohio State, a 6'4 senior, number one, Jason. At guard for the Nittany Lions, a 6'4 junior, number 23, Josh Reed. At guard for the Buckeyes, a 6'1 junior, number 3, C.J. Jackson. At guard for Penn State, a 6'2 senior, number 33, Chef Garner. And a card for Ohio State. A 6'2 senior. Number 15. Tim Williams. Penn State coached by 47-year-old Pat Chambers in his seventh season. He's done a fine job 
with this Nittany Lion team, 20 and 12, 9 and 9 in conference play, including two big wins over this man's squad. Chris Holtman, 46 years old, only in his first year at Ohio State, and he's already been named the Big Ten Coach of the Year, and he could potentially be the National Coach of the Year. T-Mobile starting lineups. Coach, who jumps out at you? Uh, Josh Reeves, he does so many things for this club. Can actually play a little bit of point. Outstanding defender. And the other end, I think Cam Williams has got to make some shots to open it up. Time out to join the third yeah. member of our team on the sideline. Here's Rick Pizzo. Well, Gus, Penn State just made one of the more dramatic entrances in Big Ten tournament history. The team bus stalled out once on its way to the arena, then made contact with the bumper of another car. The driver of that car was unhappy with the interaction, actually followed the team bus just outside of the garden on 33rd, which is not a through street, and made contact with the bus again. The bus almost stalled a second time and was forced to stop short of the loading dock where the players and coaches would normally depart. Pat Chase Chambers, Tony Carr didn't have the patience to wait it out. They got out in the rain and walked the rest of the way down 33rd. Some would call it a crazy story. Others may counter and say, that's just your typical Friday rush hour traffic here in New York. No doubt about it, Rick. I live here, and that's what it usually is like. In a series that dates back to 1950, Ohio State leads it 37-17, but Penn State took both regular season meetings. The teams have met four times in the Big Ten Tournament with the Buckeyes winning each time. And Gus Johnson right now. Penn State goes without the bus driver. All right, Coach, what should we expect to see from both teams as this game gets ready to start? It's got to go through right here. The has got to make some good decisions. They're going to try and pound it inside. He, he was hurt a little bit the first game was that really has worked hard to develop a little hook game good footwork Love the big guy Caleb Wesson 6'9 270 Player of the year in the state of Ohio and a whistle and a quick foul on the baseline and They go against the Buckeyes. There was Jackson and the big thing Pat Chambers telling both of us was to be in it for the first four minutes He thought that this team would come out ready to go Ohio State Really try and put them away with a lot of energy early. Lamar Stevens will inbound the basketball for Penn State. Here's Tony Carr, averages 20 a game, sophomore from Philadelphia. When he lets it come to him, he is outstanding. Is he a good, good passing team, Gus. Well, up jump shot deep. That one off the mark for Josh Reeves and out of bounds. They got a foul, I think, on Hara. And push on. So Hara called for the foul, his first. Referees with some quick whistles early in this game. Uh, just doing a little check and out. We can just see them here. A little hand to hand combat. A little early, just testing the whistles. CJ Jackson, Jr., from Charlotte, North Carolina. They do a nice job spacing and cross screening. Here they go again. Likes to get the bounce into the lane. Here's the bump, the grind across the lane. Jump hook, Wesson short. Hera with the rebound. Stevens, mid-range. Loose ball, batted around, out of bounds. And will stay right here, Penn State ball. The Penn State getting very good shots, good looks, maybe a little nerves exhibiting themselves early. There's Pat, worked down at Villanova. Under Jay Wright. Jay Wright, he dresses like him a little bit, too. A little bit better, I would say. I would say. Better, better shoes. Better, better shoes. Penn State beat Northwestern 65-57 last night. For their 20th win of the season. He's got some range, though. You always got to be honest and tough on him. He's had great games against Ohio State, 30 and 28. Nittany Lions ended the game on a 13-3 run. Brady Trent, and inside, they get it to go. How about that? That's what Diop does. Nice read. You sneak a peek. Great strides to the 10. Bates Diop went through a little slump in the second half of the year. Well, I think preparation, too. People know your game a little bit. They got an offensive foul. I think they got Garner. Of course, Pat looking up. Very calm on the sideline. Great demeanor, but a little load up. That duck in. Pretty tough, and what a read. You turn and look. Great decision, Diop. And just that little handoff. We've seen that called quite a bit on the drill exchange. Garner picks up his first. Four to nothing. Ohio State. Tate curling down the lane. Can't get it to stay down. He's their energy guy, Gus. Stevens. Streaking to the basket. Bangs it down. Wow. 
a few steps. What's he think he's playing for the Knicks? <laughs> That's where they play. <laughs> right here at the world's most famous arena. Oh, that'd get a little attention there, Stevens. Penn State on the board. Tate has got that football player's body and mentality. Backs his way all the way underneath the basket. Pumps, gets it up short. And a whistle and foul on the rebound. BTN standout presented by Discover. Stevens. That, huh? Bringing the house with him. One, two, three. Mm. Reeves. Call for the foul, his first. Now, Tate loves to bounce and get you in the lane a little bit and control. I think he's got to go up quick, a little high-low action. That's what size can do. Wesson on the handoff. Ohio State under Coach Holtman, so patient offensively. They shared the ball, they're disciplined. Down low, Tate, no call. Loose. And it'll stay on this end. Interesting early, everything in the lane. Looks like Chris Ryan do a little power basketball, nice high-low setup. And Wesson is so good at just turning and locking his guy in that lane. Ohio State. The double by the first game of the tournament so far. Pace Dia on the fadeaway. Moore on the floor right now. Pretty good defensively. Had three blocks against Ohio State. Not as much of a threat on this end. Chris Steven pushing off. That's an offensive foul. Pretty good reaction, wasn't it? That's what Tate does for you. He's the jump man. Ohio State beat Indiana 80 to 78 in double overtime in Bloomington to end the regular season. CJ Jackson made a dramatic three pointer with 1.7 to go. Slice cut. Nice high low again, but a little. Aaron Toss, but a big fella. William Moore scoops it up off the ground. Meanwhile, gliding with the basket is Josh Reed. Both clubs really do a nice job in tra transition D. Nate Dia backs it up. He's 6 7. Off to take him now to the hole. Elevates. Pretty good job by Moore, though, moving those legs. has been very patient offensively. Really has a look for a shot. This is what he does well, though. Manufactures a post-up, finds a cutter. Carr frees himself with the dribble and knocks down the mid-range jump shot. Not a good play defensively by Jackson. A sellout, open him up. Too easy. We're level at four. Big 10 quarterfinals. The winner to take on the winner of our next game between Rutgers and Purdue. And we're doing a good job denying in that lane. Tate, Vivek, Curling. Ripples it off of his foot. Picked up in transition. Wheeler. Nice play. Bam again. Steve. Too much bounce. You pay the price. Well, he is big time around that 10. I tell you, Coach Holtman told us in the Ohio State locker room before the game that Penn State, they've got some dudes on this team. They sure do. Really a solid basketball team. 6-0 run for the Nittany Lions. If they get in the NCAA, you don't want to play this team. They may need to make a run mm -hmm. to the championship to get in. That's Dion. Nice. Contested nicely. Dave Brown again, more. Big factor on a defensive end for this club. Julia Moore, 6'10", 14-footer for Carr. No. Loose ball stolen away. Great hands. Carr, top of the key. That time it goes. That play made possible by Jamari Wheeler. A tough little kid, really. Gets after you, can rag you. you want to protect the basketball. Carr with five points now. Yeah, just 20 a game. Tate. They really haven't 
Trumbull with size. Nice jump for the passing lane. Look at this. I thought he was going to throw it on the glass and go. But the crowd enjoys a couple of open floor soirees. Bringing it all. Leave it to Chandeliers. And showing some physicality with those pipes as well. Big time finish. The Big Ten Men's Basketball Tournament on BTN is presented by SoFi. Personal finance to fit your goals. Brought to you by State Farm, here to help life go right. And by Valvoline, keeping the world moving since 1866. Gus Johnson along with Coach Raftery, Rick Pizzo courtside with you. The Big Ten Men's Basketball Tournament. Quarterfinal action, Penn State beating Ohio State for the third time. Nittany Lions beating the Buckeyes on each occasion this season. That's high ball screen and a roll and a pin. Stevens. They are getting good looks. This ball knocked out of bounds. It will head the other way. But the more you watch Pat Chambers' team, it's, it's really a unselfish group. Everybody can beat you with the bounce, can post you up a little bit. Just a solid year they've had. Looking for a pretty good stretch run now. Ohio State hit their first two shots. They're 0 for their last seven, though, with three turnovers since. Penn State on a 9-0 run. Andre Wesson on the floor now can shoot it, but has put it on the deck a little bit more of late. There's Potter. Jackson turns the corner. Well, using both ends of the floor here. A lid on the basket right now for the Buckeyes. Now Williams, the guy who can light it up, though. Nice play by Wheeler. Wow. High off the glass. Corral. Shot clock doesn't reset. Garner deep. Ooh. How about that? They got so many guys who can beat you. Mm. Shep Garner gives Penn State a 12 4 lead. Nittany Lions on a 12 0 run here in the first half. And he hits big time threes, too. That was deep. On a screen and slip. Jackson kicks it out deep. And that one is pure for Andre Wesson. Yeah, he can do that, no question about it. A little different phys physically than his brother. I'd say so. Like, <laughs> he got to the guy. table late. Exactly. <laughs> Garner, that one blocked. Loose. And recovered by Ohio State. Nicely done by Cam Williams. Baseline jumper, Jackson. And Carr. Play it ahead. Wheeler, he's nice not. run. Ain't too much traffic for the pass. Tate inside, wheeling off the window softly and in. That was a big time play away from traffic. Whew. Coming to that dominant hand. He leaves it all out there. 12 to 9. Try not let the. Trying to keep this guy away from the ball. They want Tony to get a second touch. Crowd facing, cut up on the baseline. Nice hands. Team. Potter got a hand. Five to shoot. Stevens has to hurry. For the bucket. Pinned by Potter. Shot clock violation. Pretty good help by Potter. Alert. 11-21 to play first half. Competitive quarterfinal game to start. Back after this. Hey, keep moving right now. Move bodies, move the ball. Okay? Move bodies when they're icing, change your angle like you did. Might also be able to get deep and have them throw back, potentially. Okay? All right? Move bodies, move the ball right now. Okay? Move bodies, move the ball. Well, we saw a lot of that. Butler goes side to side with the ball. If you drive it for the collapse of defense, kick it back. And they just uh, started to go... Across the top to the corner and back out. Of course, a little dribble drive softens it and gets you an open look. Here come the Buckeyes. Bates D up. Facing up. Jackson runs a pick and roll with Pop. But he could have taken Pop. Now he can make this. And he does. Yeah, he's got range. Mostly on the baseline. Sophomore. From Mentor, Ohio. Ohio State responding with an 8-0 run. Andrew Dockish 
In the game now, number 13 for the Buckeyes. Pretty good D here. Penn State almost throws it away, and they do throw it away. Julian Moore couldn't save it. Fifth turnover for Penn State. Now, coming up, more excitement here at Madison Square Garden. Rutgers takes on Purdue. The 2018 Big Ten Men's Basketball Tournament presented by SoFi continues next on BTN and streaming live on BTM to go and Fox Sports go. I tell you what, Rutgers yesterday down by 16. Sanders got he got he sure did play great basketball. Scarlet Knights 15 and 18, 3 and 15 during the regular season in Big Ten play. They've got two wins in this tournament already. Nice little ping down for an open look. Jackson rattles one home for three. He's been playing pretty well of late, too. Excellent. That's right. C.J. Jackson gives Ohio State a 15 to 12 lead. A lot of cross screen in that action at the other end. Garner, 20-footer. Long rebound. Wheeler. He was going to go again. Garner. He has some confidence in that stroke. Boy, Philly's been good to this program. Ah, the great yeah. Philly kids. Roman Catholic kids. 16-foot jump shot off the mark for Nazir Bostic. Penn State gets it back deep. Breeze and good. Boy, it is dangerous on that rebound kick out. You can't give them second possessions. Reeves with his first basket of the evening. Under 10 to play. We're level at 15. Potter again. In and out. Big rebound. Got to finish. Can't stick it. I know. Great position. Shield is bent off. Reeves thinking about it. Bates Diop closing on him quickly. Well, they make you think defensively. They break you down. Well, you don't go inside much, whether it's a, a dribble to a post-up. Wheeler, seven to shoot. Reeves again for three. And knocked out of play this time by Julian Moore. Well, you mentioned they were, Ohio State was patient on offense. They do such a good job, they force you to be patient on their defensive end as well. What is it about Coach Holtman teams, this style of play, Coach Rafferty? Uh, yeah, he gets kids to believe, certainly, and defensively, they're so sound. It starts there. Shot selection, very important. I asked him before the game, how did initially he get these kids to believe he said look i sat them down and said guys things weren't working well last year we got to play a little differently and they just all bought in kids want to win you prove you can teach them that's the guy he's got to make shots he is terrific can get those feet together williams we can light it up quickly and ohio state reclaims the lead 18 15. stevens has two thunderous dunks in this game Guarded by Wesson. Pretty good defense there. They handle all the rubs on the baseline. Stevens shaking bait to the cup. The floater off the heel. Dockage explodes to the basket off the glass. His daddy couldn't do that. No, you can't. Explode is in his vocabulary. <laughs> the father. And he is a smart kid. He knew if he went and pumped, they would have gotten it. And a whistle up top. Dockage call for the reach and foul on Carr. His father's still living on holding Michael Jordan down, right? <laughs> <laughs> but the, the nice little play. Watch this now. Sort of freezes the guy. If he gets both hands on the ball, I think Tony would have gotten a piece of it. Dan Dockage likes to say that he was the most famous number 11 at Indiana. <laughs> well, Isaiah didn't stay around long enough, right? <laughs> That's right. Two years. 2015 Buckeyes. Nice job. Reeve double pump off the glass. No. Batted around out of bounds and Penn State will get it again. He took it away on Josh's drive. Took away that dominant hand left. The world's most famous arena. The greatest city in the world. We've got Wall Street. We've got the Garden. We've got Radio City, where Bill Rapper used to work with the Rockettes. <laughs> all state, all freshmen, all Big Ten, all American, all whatever you want. One thing I know is you ain't a true baller until you prove it at the Garden. And that's why they call it the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, site of the Big Ten Tournament, 20-15, to 15, Ohio State.
This was your home for a long time, you know. 14 glorious years as the voice of the New York Knicks. Nittany Lions won the first meeting between these two teams, coach, when Tony Carr hit a buzz, buzzer beater in Columbus. Second game, though, not even close. Nittany Lions earned the regular season sweep, upsetting number eight Ohio State in Happy Valley, 79-56. At one point in the game, they led by 30, and Carr had 30. How about that? Are you, are you suggesting you can't beat a team three times? It's tough. It is tough. tough. By the way, Rick told that bus story years ago when I was coaching. We got stuck at the Lincoln Tunnel before we got in it. Uh -huh. We got here five minutes of seven for our seven o'clock game. Wow. No pregame talk. Kids went out, played the best game of the year. I couldn't have messed them up. We have St. John's. Uh, I wish you were. <laughs> Meanwhile, Carr knocks down a jump shot. Those are the stories you remember. Yeah, exactly. And I think the kids were happy. I didn't punish them with my dictates. Eight points for Carr to start this game. Remember the last time he faced Ohio State, he had 30 big ones. There's a lot of flex nuances to get post-ups. He can make that little 10-footer, but he loves to put it, and put it in that left hand and go with the hook. Wesson with the offensive rebound. Can't stick it back. Tate has it taken away by Carr. They and he's foul. fouled. Not a good one by Tate. Tell you what, if Urban Meyer is looking for a defensive tackle, this kid may fit the bill. He's got the frame and the body and the temperament, too. He's some competitor. Yeah, that's one of those, a little nickel dimer. Tate a little Broadway at, maneuver. Late Tate listed at 6'4", 230. 7'16 to play first half. Big Ten quarterfinals. Reeves plus the defense gets to the bucket. Dia, outlet pass, Dockage. Nice. Williams steps into a three. Smart play. Nice hands on the D, too. Inside and the Big Ten Player of the Year, Bates Dia. They look like it's a little more urgent for them right now. Getting after a little more. Doing a better job on both ends of the floor. Here's Carr. Has a pick and roll. Trying to shake up Dockage. Now gets down the lane, pushes off, lost it. Cam Williams, he's got Tate in front of him. Finds him, streaking to the basket, power dribble off the glass, hard and in. That uh, boy gave it up right on time to Williams, known as a shooter. Open floor numbers. And Tate, you mentioned the power, the frame. Pretty good extension at the end, but look at this Diop at both ends of the floor doing such a good job. And now the ability in the lane, we've seen him shoot it out. Nice little touch. Player to of the year, why not? Coach, 20 to 6 run for Ohio State. And you, as you mentioned, they're playing with more urgency. They, right they, they look like a different team. You know, it's one of the, they beat us up twice. They're not getting it again. And that's exactly what Pat told us before the game. We've got to go out and meet that urgency that they're going to come in with. Meanwhile, Coach Chambers telling us we have to be competitive for this entire ball game in order to beat Ohio State once again. Got to come with your A game. Now when the action ends, the Big Ten show takes over. Complete highlights of the entire day, post-game reaction, and a preview of what's ahead tomorrow. The Big Show presented by SoFi tonight at 11 Eastern right here on BTN. Garner, Carr. A little zone now, something they, they don't use often, a little 1-3-1 one, one look. We'll check it out the next trip down, but they're going to make it compact, a little like Xavier does. Yeah, with a wide open look, Lamar Stevens knocks down the three. He has seven. Interesting, you get a little wrinkle like that, sometimes it's effective. And Williams backs it up. Wesson, such a big body, great screener. Wesson sealed his man, didn't get a touch, but Tate knocks down the jump shot for his seventh point. How about that? Around 25% for the year, generally. Reeves, in and out, loose with it. Carr, extra pass, Stevens. Oh, and one. Wow. How about that for some power? This kid is an athlete.
athlete. Not only the strength, Gus, but the ability to hang and take the hit. This is between floors, big time, number 11. Attacking and Weston trying to lay the wood as well. I had a chance to get up right next to Josh Reeves before the game. Coach, he looks like he was carved right out of Mount Olympus. Six feet, eight inches, 226 pounds of lean, mean machine. He's a tough guy, does a lot of things well. Cuts, you see him put it on the deck. Defensively, pretty good hands. Very disruptive. Stevens with 10. Now Wesson, big fella, can't get any touches as of late. Tate, underneath, wraps it around. Wesson, drop step. Takes it back again, working hard, and he's fouled. Let's go to Rick Pizzo. Gus Pat Chambers ecstatic to see Lamar Stevens with 10 early points. He took an elbow to the face last night, courtesy of Scotty Lindsay. He was not himself in the second half. Pat Chambers told me, knocked the tooth loose and basically knocked him a little bit woozy. He wasn't sure of himself in the second half, just didn't have that confidence back. Clearly has it here in the first half for Penn State. You're right, Rick. That was a nasty elbow, inadvertent mm -hmm. by Lindsay, and it got him right in the chops. Mm -hmm. You've been hit there on occasion, I'm sure. Never. Sure, good toughness. And Wesson. Let's take the first. End of the game now. Julian Moore. Another big body, 6'10. They're missing Mike Watkins. That's a, that's a big factor because that changes the whole game plan. He can, the he can dominate defensively. No deterrent inside on the dribble drive. Here's Big Mike. Trying to do it by committee a little bit. Injured that knee against Michigan. Approaching the five-minute mark of the first half of the quarterfinals of the Big Ten tournament. Reed spinning. Excellent defense by Dion. Now Stevens says, get away. I can do it myself. Backs up on Tate and draws a foul. Well, he is tough. Has some power at the rim. He really can finish through contact, too. Second foul on Tate. 15 foul against the Buckeyes. A lot of Penn State guys occasionally will over dribble as they try and create a post up. Four point game. Here's Garner. And off car. Nice hesitation. To the bucket off the glass. Owns him. Big time. Doesn't look like he even sweats, coach. He never looks like he's in a hurry. Really good at angles. Understand how he can get by people. So Carr with 10, Stevens with 10 for the Nittany Lions. Two-point game. Skip pass, Tate. Drives baseline, gets there, wheels. Kicks. Good ball moment. Oh, Williams, but he trapped it. Tell you what, he had it too. Can't make a lot of mistakes against this Penn State, but look at this. I don't know, Gus. It looked like a travel. Yeah, coach. not me either. He rocked on that lead foot and then exploded. Feet so fast, the refs couldn't see it. <laughs> that was Muhammad Ali, right? With quick feet. This is the place where they had the, one of the greatest heavyweight fights of all time. Ali Frazier won. And the garden has the fighting spirit. John Condon used to be the announcer, as you recall, PA. Stevens inside, and he's fouled on the release. Andre gets a piece of it. The older Wesson. So Lamar Stevens at the line. Wesson call for the foul is first. First one good for Lamar. North Wales, Pennsylvania also went to Roman Catholic. Averages 15 a game, six rebounds. 2018 All Big Ten honorable mention. He does a lot of things. Blocks, rebounds, makes plays. At eight points yesterday. Now a sub coming in. Nazir Bostic will replace Stevens and take the blow. Final 402. Bostic pretty good with the bounce, drives it well. Bates Dia. Keep being aggressive, especially on the offensive end. 
They try to ice it left. And so he's three and all five. Gotta be standing still. 3.46 to play in the first half. We're level at 28 apiece from the Mecca of basketball. Lamar, you like the size of this guy. He can bring it all. Great attack mode, fills the lane here, acknowledged with a good look, and just amazing facility to take the best lick you can deliver and get a chance for three. And the combination of Stevens and Carr, 22 points on 8 of 14 shooting. The rest of Penn State, 6 points on 2 of 11 shooting. A lot of these guys can create post-ups. They really don't have a center who's going to dominate. Try not to let Carr get the ball back. That's, they've done a pretty good job. Here's Carr, 16-footer. Mistake. Offensive rebound to Bostic. New shot clock for Penn State. I think Tony was shocked he was that open. Here's the weave. They lost it. Jackson dives, gets it. Arrow, though, favors Penn State. A little sloppy dribble exchange. And don't forget, coming up next, it's our State Farm halftime report with Dave Revson, Steve Bardo, Sean Morris, and Andy Katz. Murderers Row. Yeah, a couple of players up there. Fun listening to them all year long. A great network. Bardo on that Illinois Final Four team. Kenny Battle, Marcus Liberty. He was the player, though. Nick Anderson. He was the defensive player of the year. Still looks like he can do it. He does. He's in shape. Carr. Guarded by Dockage. Dockage trying to keep him in front of him. Carr. Nine to shoot. Down by Lenny. Oh, my goodness. A little lingerie on the deck. He is clever. A little delay of game, they're just saying. A handle. Something else. 12 Oof. points. Shows it, takes it away. Turns those shoulders. All right, he looks like he hasn't even played yet. Seven versus two. Penn State seeded number seven. Ohio State, the second seed. Dockage. Nice job defensively by Gardner, but they loose. Nicely done. Wesson to Bates Dia. Big fella showing his ability to pass. Yeah, not good communication at all on that particular play. Bates D up with six. A double high ball screen. Stevens. Inside the rebound. And it will not go. For Big Julian foul. Moore. Nice job, though. Come from the foul line inside to get the offensive rebound. When you have good shooters, there's ample opportunities on misses. I like Pat Chambers. Good guy. Got so much energy. Our big family. He's had a, a few fights at home with those brothers of his. Julian Moore. This is the first. And Sutton's coming in. 55% free throw shooter. Andre Wesson enters the game. That's two on his brother. Second one good for Moore. 31-30, Penn State. Can they do it three times in one season is the question. Beating Ohio State again. Diop really has had many touches trying to go high-low. With Stevens on. Head to shoot. Wesson puts it on the deck, backs it up. Jackson with six to go. Jump shot. What a settle. Not a good trip at all. Carr with the rebound. He's got that ball on the string, folks. They haven't been able to get too many open for him. He knows he can get up over him. Dockage, that is. Inside. Rebound. Lost it. The kick. Carr deep. And the rebound of Penn State's Moore. Carr down the lane this time. Left hand. Finger roll. This kid is a baller. He's got 14. Beautiful with the offhand, Gus. Nice protection with that baby hook kiss. 33-30, Nittany Lions. 
Once again, Diop not really getting opportunities. The drive. Forced it up and draws contact. Stevens hacked it. Oof. I thought he got all ball, but he got him with the body. I like the drive. Stevens with an excellent defensive stop on that particular trip. These are might be number two. I think you're right, Gus. Down low. There's always going to be a little bit of contact. I thought it was a heck of a play. And Diop doing the right thing, just taking it to him. He exposes that ball maybe a little prematurely. Bates Diop at the line gets the first one to go. Against Indiana in his last game, 24 points on 9 of 24 shooting. He was 2 of 9 from the three-point line. But what I like about his line, 14 rebounds. How about that? It's like you, Coach, when you were at LaSalle. <laughs> you could have an off-shoot night, but you would go get uh -huh. that thing when it went up on the glass. I helped our guys rebound, but my misses. Eight points for Bates Dia. One-point game. Under a minute to play. First half, the quarterfinals of the Big Ten men's basketball tournament. Down and through, nice hands in there. Carr keeps his dribble alive, backs his way down, fadeaway jump shot. No, it's amazing. He can go wherever he wants with that bounce. About a seven second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Jackson, Potter, got to get the up a touch. Here he is, go to the hall. This is where I think he should take over a little bit. He's not going to get it back now. Jackson underneath. Almost threw it away with one to shoot. And quick timeout. A catch and shoot situation. And let's go back to Rick Pizzo. Well, Gus, obviously Penn State's delayed arrival not really bothering the Nittany Lions. In case viewers are just joining us, the story that we reported at the top of this game is that Penn State's bus was delayed getting to Madison Square Garden because of an altercation that it had on the way, not only stalling a couple of times, but also making contact with another driver who forced the bus to stop before the actual loading dock where most players and coaches would depart. Tony Carr, Pat Chambers got off the bus early that the rest of the team followed. Clearly with this first half performance, uh, no injuries, physical or otherwise for the Nittany Lions. And no tip for the driver, Rick. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty day here in New York City. Rain mixed with snow and wind. Lights have been canceled, getting in and out of the place. You can walk to the building, though. Not today. Well, that's, a long, that. that's a long seven-block walk. Oh, well, you have that limo guy picked up every day. He's a nice guy. One on the shot clock. Probably a corner jumper at some point. Not much to lob to. Potter has to hurry. Got it away. Loose. Ohio State keeps it alive. Three seconds. Bates D up. Baseline pull. And that's the end of the first half. Five ties, three lead changes. Carr with 14 for Penn State. Stevens with 12 for Penn State. Bates Diop had eight. And as we head to halftime, the Nittany Lions, a seventh seed, leading the second seeded Buckeyes by one. Here's Rick Pizzo. All right, Pat, obviously a little interaction there with one of the officials. Anything particular you're upset about? He didn't get it off on his hand so if that goes in it's a different game they get the momentum going into the locker room he didn't get it off as it is you do go into the locker room with that 33 32 lead and so lamar stevens really trying to impose his will physically how good of a sign is that for you guys it's great he looks like himself again yesterday obviously you and i talked i think losing the tooth he's got a mouthpiece in today so he's a little bit more confident which is good for us bad appreciate the time best of luck in the second half thanks sir. All right, 33 to 32, our score at halftime. Penn State leading Ohio State. Both teams digging in on both ends of the floor. Second half should be fun. The Big Ten Men's Basketball Tournament on BTN is brought to you by State Farm, here to help life go right. And that's the Empire State Building, folks, and they're changing the colors for the remaining six teams here in the Big Ten Tournament with the winner to have their school's sole colors on the Empire State. 
Gatorade game leaders. Let's take a look. Tony Carr, Kata Bates, Diop. i like to see Diop get a little more involved and get some more opportunities. And of course, Carr, I don't think you're going to let him get the basketball back because he is so good, so efficient, and can create for himself and others. Well, Coach, I thought in that first half, these two teams pretty much played each mm -hmm. other even. They, they're very similar, really. Uh, defensively, I think they've both been solid. I think easy baskets are going to become very important, now, whether it's a follow or a turnover and an open floor opportunity. All right, let's go to Rick Pizzo. Gus just spoke with Chris Holtman. He said on Ohio State's successful possessions, they're moving the ball. Ten assists on 12 made field goals, but the ball is too often getting stuck, and that's when they're struggling. Defensively, he said they simply need to be tougher. They cannot be physically dominated inside the paint and on the glass, and that's exactly what happened in the first half, most notably with Lamar Stevens driving into the painted area. All right, Rick, thank you very much. So we start the second half. Ohio State with the basketball. Wesson, Williams, Tate. Bates, Diop, and C.J. Jackson. The way they started the game, Gus going to the big fella. Weston on the drop step baseline side. Lost it on the way up out of bounds. And last touch by the Nittany Lions. He's not one of those guys that can explode to the basket, so he's got to get a good angle, wrap that guy around him a little bit with the chicken arm. Kind of reminds me of a Jared Sellinger type. Oh, yeah. Inside, Tate, no, missed the first one. Bubba Pump, second one, caught it on the foul. And Sonniger, both of them, Mr. Basketball, like your pal Jimmy Jackson. That's right. Out of Ohio State, but the power game is keeping after, and this kid has got some kind of ticker. I think he's one of the reasons, just emotionally, and the way he plays and leaves it all out there, that this season was a success for Ohio State. Harris picks up his third foul. Ohio State. Taking a 35 to 33 lead. Carr. The good guards know the ball's going to come back unless something easy happens. Stevens shows it, drives, pushes off, jump hook, no. Carr with the rebound. Gets it again and lays it in. That way to stick with it. First, that big body pins his guy under the rim. Every time, every time somebody drives like that because the defense opens up to assist. And it bears the backboard. That's his first basket of the game. Tate, quick turn, cut off, double team. Got to get free for it. And a steal. Reeves, he's got Garner with him. Reeves, Euro step off the window. Yes, and the foul. That's the way the game has changed. Gardner runs to the three point line, and they're going to wave it off. Look at this. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's why they waved it off. Good call by Lamont yeah, Simpson. Absolutely. It's amazing how well these officials do sometimes when it's you know, just such a bang bang play. When you're on the sideline, they don't do that good a job. Yeah, I know. Yeah, not a smart play at all. So Josh Reeves. Like his game too, coach. Yeah, he did. I At mentioned 15 earlier, last night. Good offensive rebounder, cuts well, does a lot of nice little things as they all do. Drives it and finds people too on the mm. drive. And yeah, coming in the game now, here in the second half, Julian Moore. Josh's biggest fan, this lady, Lizette Reeves, his mom. You can tell where he gets his good looks from and his talent. Dad had nothing to do with it. Nice little trip to Manhattan for the family. Cam Williams, quick release. Good open look for him. He can't line it up. Stevens the other way. Pull up jumper. 18 footer short, flat. Out of bounds, Ohio State basketball. Boy, defensively, why would you leave the ball like that? Give him a clean look. Buckeyes saw their season end in the first round of last year's tourney in an upset. Lost to Rutgers. Jackson, and a whistle and foul. And Carr with the little touch. 
Nice little setup for the high low that opened up that opportunity. However, under that motto, Ohio State was very successful in the Big Ten tournament. They won it in 2007, 2010, 2011, and 2013. Well, Thad did a great job. Good man. Oh, and, and how fortunate for Ohio State that had the opportunity to hire Chris, too. You've got an athletic director at Ohio, at Ohio State that knows how to hire some pretty good coaches. Oh, you're right. He seemed to do well in that other game. Gene Smith, gonna tip your hat to him. Jackson, put it on the deck. Nice bounce pass, Tate. Goes the other side, can't finish. So I thought they got away with it up and down. Skip pass. Garner, open. Pure. Oh, for help. That's why he runs to the three-point line on a fast break. 7-0 run for Penn State. Great distribution cross-court, but negligent team by the Buckeyes. Got it. Steve is really doing an excellent job. Yep, not even getting touches thus far. Bates Diop has to be aggressive. Couldn't get his legs into that jump shot there. Reeves. Nice Ready. block. Oh, blocked by Tate. How about that? Big time. Give it up. C.J. Jackson. He's got Williams underneath. Jackson. And the rebound of Julian Moore and a foul. I think that might be three on Tate. And it is. His third. Wow. He's got two underneath the basket when the other teams have possession. Oh, just a great run. Aggressive, what a terrific look here. And look at this reaction. That is spectacular. It is slide by. Clean as can be. Jay Sean T. From Pickerington, Ohio. See me. Cam Williams will take a seat. Really got the offensive threat outside. Ohio State right now. Potter in the game for the Buckeyes. Oh, that's a perfect trap they had. Reeves, big jump hook, batted out. Jackson, numbers for the Buckeyes, but Penn State gets back on D. But both clubs, so solid transition. Coach, what do you see in between these two? A, a, an even match, basically. Defensive rebounding. The look two takes it, hit one in the first down. Didn't have the rhythm. You can only imagine what this Buckeye team is going to be like when Coach Holtman really puts this stamp on. Now they say they've really loaded up the recruiting. <laughs> Try not to let Carr get it back. Pretty good job. Uh, Jackson. Carr. So patient. He, uh, offensive foul, yeah. He reached that line. I've seen him do that, too. This is sportsmanship, though. He's got the reference over there. Once he gets it for him. But the ability to make shots coming down the stretch got to be key. But look at this. Overhelp defensively. No communication. I got the puppy organized. <laughs>
All right, let's take a look at the bracket. Michigan State advancing with a close win over Wisconsin. They'll take on Michigan, who defeated Nebraska. Remember, Michigan State, Michigan met once this year in East Lansing. Mo Wagner put on a show. How about that? Great game. Weren't we there? Was it me? I know I, I was watched there. so much tape, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I think it was <laughs> me, maybe Jimmy. I think you were Jimmy. Jimmy Jackson. Yeah. Now, Lamar Stevens goes out of the game, picks up his third yeah, foul. Yeah, that hurts. Chris Garner's such a good shooter, can stretch a little, maybe get open up some opportunities with a dribble drive. Once again, they've got a manufactured post up off the bounce. 40 to 37, Nittany Lions. Look the way he protects the ball with the off arm, too. Just looks like a pro coach. He does. He's got a feel. Clyde like, in a way. Six, no offense. Five. Well. Seven to shoot. Car. Look at him. Spinning. Two to shoot. Step back three. Back. Oh. Woo. Under control. Ball player. He never played the church league, though, with that trajectory. He has 17, 43 to 37. Nice inside screen. It's D up. Across the lane, jump hook, short. They've been bodying on him. He's pulling the string a number of times. To the basket, off the glass, and in. Carter makes it look easy. He has eight. Tate a little uncomfortable that far, plus the foul situation. A little blow by. Ties the biggest lead of the game for Penn State. Jackson. And Carr with yet another board. He has six rebounds in this game. He fills it up, huh? Like Clark. Backs it up on Jackson. Takes it. Nice awesome. help. Wesley yeah. really did a nice job. <laughs> All the guards that have some talent really dominate in that lane and just check to see if it was out of his hand, and I'd say it was. Now Wesson comes in the game along with Cam Williams. Tatum leaves. C.J. Jackson heads out. And Chris really has a short bench to work with, too. Tired bodies are going to become key coming down the end. Carr wants it. Guarded by Dockage now. But he can elevate over him, too. I don't think he had that one. Base D out. Trying to create off the dribble this time. Pump fake. Got it up and in. That's what he's got to do more of. Be aggressive. Good ball control. The ability to elevate, use that shoulder. Just solid. He's got the size, the length. Kiss. Carr called for his third at the 1327 mark. Let's keep an eye on his foul situation. Third foul. He and Stevens, Gus. Free throw is good. Five point lead for the Nittany Lions. Garnick can run a little point. The car play off the basketball a little bit. Josh Reeves and a blocking foul on Dockage. Let's go to Rick. Well, Gus, there was no surprise on Pat Chambers' face when Kata Bates Diop used the old eyebrow fake there and drew the foul to get the three point play. He's been warning his players in every timeout do not fall for the pump fake when 33 catches it in the post. He will do it each and every time he gets the ball down low. All right, Rick, thank you. It's easier to say than do when you're playing a guy that talented. Here's Carr. Quick dribble to the bucket. Changed his shot. Halfway down, pops out. Now, a lot of other guys would have gone to the left. It was an empty side, but he got a great angle, terrific read. He able to get that opportunity at the rim. And foul called. On Wesson. It's Caleb Wesson. Picks up his third. 
He's playing pretty good defense too, showing on ball screens when they try to ice it one side. So good mobility. Card just got a warning for a little trash talking to Dockage. I know something about those dockages. They can get under your skin. Well, I know that I know one can talk. <laughs> <laughs> and he will be able to talk when he gets out of school a little bit too, I'm sure. Dad, the young Dockage wants to be a coach. Meanwhile, 18 points for Carr. 81% free throw shooter. He gets a little blow now. Three fouls. Remember, Penn State has three players with three fouls. All starters, Carr, Stevens, and Harrell. See if the upstate is aggressive now. Pick and pop. Nice cut. Two to let him. Weston inside. And he gets the roll. That is so thundering. Two, three, better than guy. Five points for the young Wesson. Hey, Dockage really does have some spirit, though. And Andrew gets into the game, plays within his limitations. Reeves on the big hop. Ten to shoot. Garner driving, lost it, gets it back. Four to shoot. Blocked by Cam Williams. Out of bounds, and it'll be Ohio State basketball. What a job Williams did defensively. Got right down and dirty into him. Now, Sunday on BTN, the nation's best wrestlers square off at the 2018 Big Ten Wrestling Championships. Coverage presented by Cliff Keen Athletic. Sunday at 3 Eastern on BTN and streaming live on BTN to go and Fox Sports go. With Will around the floor, the other thing Dockage bring it up because... That kid can really rag his guy. Andre Wesson dribbling in space. Nice. AC out to the bucket. Big time. Bang. What a read, too. Empty side, and Dockage comes up with a steal here. Dockage hustling. How do you get to timeout? That's why he's going to be a great coach. How about that kid? Time and situation. Just leaving it all out there. I look at Dockage, I can't help but to think of Aaron Kraft. Very, pretty similar. Run the show. Oof. Great effort. Back. Penn State up by two. Buckeyes making a run right now. I talk about the wide body of Weston. Does a great job sealing. I love the read here on the empty side. Nobody at home. And look at the turn. Just screen it off. Beautiful, Julian, no way he could get to it. A big time, aggressive move. More of that needed by the Buckeyes. And how about this? Never give it up on a play. Fake like he was playing his guy. Terrific spurt. Bringing a little juice to the game right now. Ohio State has scored seven of the game's last eight points since trailing by eight. Bates Diop with five of the seven. Dockage, great hustle plays. There's Dad, Dan Dockage. You look at him. He can't. He can't watch it almost. He's, he's uncomfortable without a microphone, offending somebody. Here's his son, Dockage. Backdoor nice. cut. Cam Williams. Out of the time. And what a great setup. Step and go. Listen. Lead it in there beautifully. And the Buckeyes tie it up at 46. Stevens with it. He's been quiet here in the second half. The doctors want to let Carr get the ball back. Something they worked on. Garner rises and hits. Big time. Side saddle knockdown. 11 points for Shep Garner. He had three at halftime. Williams off the dribble. Back it out. Wesson to Bates. Diop. Well, Dockage knows where his bread should be buttered. Quick. Little touch pass back to number 33. 16 for Bates. Diop. 49 up. Reeves knocked out of his hands. Loose ball. And a foul call on Reeves as Wesson scooped it up. 
I don't know about the foul, Gus, but how about this out of the timeout? Heady play by the big fella. Little step and go. Williams and then a little magic around the rim. Weak side a little bit tardy. And then Dockage alertly to make sure. Get that hot potato. Diop knocking it down big time for Pete. Gentlemen, a legend is in the building. That is former Purdue head coach Gene Cady in town to watch his boilers. His former pupil and player, Matt Painter, and his team. As you take a look at the bracket here at the Big Ten Tournament. Uh, pretty exciting the way it's turning out for Saturday. There's this one and a big one after this. Right Look. now, these teams knuckling up at the Garden. Bates Diop has gotten hot. Pulls up. Uh, you know, they give him room, though. That's what they added a timeout. They pulled some strings for him. He refused the ball screen, went left. Everything but convert. Eight ties in this game. Bates Diop has scored the last eight for Ohio State. Carr's a great post-up guy. See, he brings Doc Kitchen. Nobody home. No cover from the top. Weak side looks to double. You've got to be alert and drop down against this guy in particular. Julian Moore. The assist to Carr. 51-49. Nittany Lions. Andre Wesson. Land with his little brother. Taylor. They hand it off. How many times they do this in the backyard? I don't think they handed it off in the backyard, though. Not just for his brother. And off the mark. Yes, see the ball beautifully. The big fellow. Carr. He does have a handle, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Garner to kick. Reeves a three. And the rebound to Dockage. He's Garner everywhere. Garner could have had that rebound. He was thinking it was good. Dockage curling. Inside Wesson, and he's fouled from behind by Julian Moore. Now, earlier they had a little basket at the rim. Uh, the double occurs over here. And you just see up here, you got to come and cover, whether it's this or this. It's just solid. Everybody paying attention to the guy. All of a sudden, you bear the weak side. Big number 44. More. Finishing it off. Seventh team foul against Penn State. Weston shoots one and one. Fifty-one forty-nine, eight fifty to play, second half, quarterfinals of the Big Ten tournament. The winner of this game will advance to the semifinals to take on the winner of our next game between Rutgers and Purdue. I like the five. I like what Pat's doing. You got to ride this guy. I mean, that is a difficult matchup for anybody. The Dockett's giving up inches, strength. The guy with a great understanding of when to release the shot. Great timing here. He did this in their game. Up at Penn State as well. A little back off for a three-point opportunity. Tony Carr with 20 points right at his season average. Tough guard for Dockage. He's 6'2". Carr is 6'5". And he completes the three-point play. 54-49 Penn State. But Ohio State's always had a run when they've gotten down. They've trailed by as many as eight. He has a little more movement. He got him here. Just didn't take advantage. There you go. Bates Diop facing. He backs down, looks cross court. Wesson a three. Maybe not the shot you want now, the big fella to take. Not a bad look. He should made the extra pass. Let's see him down on the box. Once again, right in that post up. He's got a little NBA old time flair. Eight minutes to go. Eight to shoot. Stevens really a lot of extra bouncing. Oh, what a tough giveaway. Number four, too. That's a fourth on Tate. Yep. 7.50 to go. Back after this. The Big Ten Men's Basketball Tournament on BTN is brought to you by 
Liebman, family made in the USA since 1896. And by Discover Card, the official credit card of the Big Ten Conference. All right, let's take a look at the Shell Conference news and notes. Mm, I've seen Bridges do that all year long. Of course, Muhammad Ali, Abdul Rahman, I've just enjoyed watching him. Takes big shots, drives it. And how about Rutgers? The first time 14 seed advances to the quarterfinals. See, Michael, they are going to be a tough out because that building is a tough venue. As he gets an established group. So Lamar Stevens at the line. He had 12 points in the first half, and that is his first point of the second half. His lips still a little fat after taking that elbow yesterday against Northwestern. Second free throw, no. 55-49. Andre Wesson to the basket. Oh. Stretch. That's what's happened to his game, though. He's enhanced it because he can make a shot and really settle for it. Little long strides. Goodness, great extension and finish. Andre Wesson scoreless on Friday in their final regular season game against Indiana in 18 minutes at two rebounds. He's the older brother, by the way. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he respects his younger brother, given the physique. 55-52. Jackson, a better match on Carr. Carter, he's hit a couple of big threes in this game. Has 11. Oh, they're going to post him anyhow. Carr draws a double team. They swing it. Stevens, hesitation off the window, no foul. Well, he is tough. Physical as he approaches that lane. Not afraid to take some contact. But it's really tough to defend when everybody can use the bounce on you. A lot of guys, are, a lot of teams, I should say, don't have that capability. 56-52. Stevens with 14. They get 15. The well, Harstein thing is saying touch it could keep Tate on the sideline because of the foul difficulties. CJ Jackson back into the point right now. Number three. Bates Diop really ducked in. They had him if they wanted. Here he is again. He's really working much better. Dockage trying to move it. Crosses over. Kick. Wesson. Five to shoot. Dockage in the corner. And a rebound on the Jock Reed. Nice shot by Carr. Deflected it. Stevens on the baseline. Swings it through. Blocked by Wesson. Picked up by Wesson. Dockage the other way in midtown traffic. Nate Diop. To the hole. Jump hook. No. Gets his own rebound and stick back. Oh, nice jump point. Quick hops two after the miss. He's long. 6'7. Love to see him use that left hand too. Oh, oh. 57-54. Approaching the six-minute mark of the second half. Car on the baseline. Blocked from behind. Base D up. How about him all over right now? Playing like a big timer. Dockage looking for a trailer. Got a mismatch. They get it back to him. Gardner had been on base. Here's Bates D up with a three. And, it and what a smart play, too. He knew he had more on him, who was tardy on the cover. Boy, is he playing like a big timer coming down the stretch. A Big Ten player of the year with 21. Timeout Penn State. 524 to go of the quarterfinals of the Big Ten men's basketball tournament. From Madison Square Garden in the heart of New York City. It's almost like Bates Diep has worked himself into this game early. I didn't think he really was as aggressive as he could be, but now more activity, whether it's a post-up or in this situation, you see he's got more ending up with him and just keeps himself busy and just a 
slow cover and he can knock him down. That's what makes him so tough. His ability to shoot the ball, put it on the deck, and be a post-up guy can be a real difficult matchup for size people and those lacking strength. Since Ohio State, they were down by eight, but this young man has scored 13 of the team's last 20 points. How about that? Without the ball as well, found them. He did a terrific job with his footwork, reading empty sides, late covers from the back. And that's what you expect from a guy who can bring it with a high level. Ninth tie of the game. Trying to get Stevens in the lane. 16 footer off the front rim. Rebound. CJ Jackson. Ohio State with an opportunity to take the lead. Cam Williams and they got it. What a nice delay. Heading plays. It's done over the timeline there. And Jackson found the red guy. He can light it up. The red shirt senior. That's the sixth lead change of this game. Carr. It's got to get moving now. Oh, shake. Direct deposit. 24 points for Tony Carr as he banks in a three. That's got to be bad memories for Ohio State. On the hop, Cam He can get it going. And Ohio State takes a two-point lead. 62 to 60. Carr, double team. Five. A nice ball getting around, getting around the horn like that, and then the ability to drive. But this is just a little blessing from above, a little squisher. So each team with 18 fouls, Garner will go to the line and shoot one and one. Car gets a little blow as Bostic comes in for him. He's another one of those guys, possibly, that can really drive it. Does a pretty good job defensively jumping passing lanes. Garner, first trip to the free throw line tonight. 76% free throw shooter on the season. He's the guy that stretches the floor for this team, too. Second one good. There's his mom, Kim. So a feature on her on Big Ten Network. Well, she is full of life. Her baby has 13 points. CJ Jackson wraps it around. Wesson off the glass it in. Nice job by the older Wesson. Alert. They are balling out at the world's most famous arena, folks. Quarterfinals. Big Ten tournament. Two-point game. 3.45 to go. Reeves, nice catch, goes up short. Bates Diop blocks it out of the air, his fifth rebound. Jackson. He wants it, I love this. Bates Diop, and he's five. He'll go to the line and shoot one and one, 324 to play. Back to the garden right after this. In the second half, Ohio State with a two-point lead over the team that's defeated them twice this season, the Penn State Nittany Lions. Different personality this half for Ohio State, don't you think? They've been down. They've managed to come back and take the lead. But can they maintain it? Because Penn State has had a lot of answers. The combination of Tony Carr, Lamar Stevens. 24 for Carr, 15 for Stevens. Garner with 13. Don't forget, next Sunday our experts offer their takes on the entire bracket and bring you reaction from around the conference. The Big Ten Basketball and Beyond Selection Sunday Special presented by Motorist Insurance Group.
next Sunday at 7 Eastern right here on BTN. And you mentioned the Penn State guys who are so deep. But I, you know, Kim Williams making shots now because Bates D up's been solid this whole second half. Here comes Carr. Started by Jackson playing into his right hand and backs it up. Now he signals for a screen. Here comes Julian Moore. Bates Dio switches. Eight to shoot. Takes him off the dribble. Carr, the fade, a brick. Dockage with the rebound. A nice job by Bates Dio, though. Okay to play both ends. Dockage shows it, kicks it. Bates Dio. Do, do a nice job clearing for him. Mid range jump shot goes. He's the boss right now. You've seen him do it with the bounce. Freeze a guy with that jumper. He has 23. Pick and roll car. A lot of bouncing. Trying to get free. Doc is right in his hip pocket. Takes him across the lane, pushes off, dumps it down. Julian Moore with the pound down. Oh, how about that fine? And everybody, eyes turned, centered on number 10. Five points for Moore. Bates Diop frees himself to the hole off the glass. And that's against Finn. That's unbelievable because that's against Reeves, who's a heck of a defender. Great field. Bates Diop with 25. Tony Carr with 24. These two players are stars. Here's Tony Carr. And five. Bates Diop gets him. Let's go to Rick Pizzo. Gus, you saw Kata Bates Diop basically take over the last two possessions. That was because of orders he received from Chris Holman during that last timeout. Holman looked him directly in the eye and said, KBD, you need to be available on every possession, and when you're available, I want you begging for the basketball. Yeah, we just showed some highlights, Rick, of exactly that. Paying attention to the mentor, I'd say. Bates Diop picked up his first foul. Carr two for three at the line as he misses the front end. 68-64, 134 to play. Coach Chambers, man, would this be a big one? Mm. And they need it when you're thinking of aspirations for next 10 days, 12 days from now. One possession game. Now this is simple. For Ohio State, that is. Good. Number 33 involved somehow, somewhere. Wesson to Dockets. Dockets has been a great orchestrator tonight. They got what they wanted. Just didn't get it to him. Bates Diop calls for it. Nice on the double. Five to shoot. Dockets to Bates Diop. Sloppy trick. A minute to go. The ball's gonna stay in this man's hands. Number 10. Reeves down the lane. Tapped it up, gets it back. We're gonna foul the thing on Dockage. Gotta finish that though. Just where they wanted it. Oh, a bit strong. I thought maybe if he grabbed it the first time. And Dockett standing up. He's squirming in his seat. Oh, he's dying. It's worse than played or coaching. Josh Reeves at the line. 73% shooter. He's looking stroke. Coach Chambers with a conversation for his star. Reeves. Gets them both. 47.4 to go. Here we go, folks. One point ball game in the quarterfinals of the Big Ten tournament. The winner to advance to the semis as they rise to their feet at the world's most famous arena. Uh, it's all on Reeves' shoulder right now because I think he's going to be playing Bates Diop. 
uh, I think he'll get a touch, don't you? What the two stars have delivered. They, they really have. I mean, began the night saying that these two play, you know, the teams are really extraordinary. Uh, they've raised the level of others, certainly. And uh, that timeout Rick alluded to, Diop just, it makes Diop just got into the game. I mean, put his soul into it and has willed this team as well as closed the deal frequently. All right, the Game Reset is sponsored by SoFi Personal Finance to fit your goals. Timeouts, Penn State with two, Ohio State with one. As you take a look at the team fouls and the possession arrow favoring the Nittany Lions. So they've been really solely going with Bates D up on the box. Don't be surprised they got him and Bob Lover in a high-low situation. I like to use that ball screen by him and a pick and pop. Was the ability of Weston down in the lane, too. Look at the game against Ohio State for Tony Carr. 28, 30, 25 tonight. High percentages from the three-point line. Ohio State brings out the best in his ability. Roman Catholic High School in Philadelphia. There's Pat of Philly guys. Got great connections there. Seems like it'd be a natural fit, Philly to Penn State. Yeah, exactly. They played at the Plester. I think it was last year against Michigan State. To a sellout. Starting Bates D up on the box. So 41.5 to go. Wesson also on the floor. Andre, that is, who can shoot it. But also put it on the deck. And he's got more who, away from the basket, is not that efficient. Almost everybody standing in the lower bowl here at the Garden for C.J. Jackson. will take his time. They bring them out on the double screen. They want Bates D on. They put the smaller garner on him. And they switched him on him. He can shoot. He can elevate over him. Backs him down. Has it knocked away? It's stolen. That, hey, that possession could have been a walk. Shot clock turned off. Game clock at 10 for Tony Cobb. Trying to win it right here. Cobb crosses over. Dust it down. Reeves What a pass. 2.8 to go. And Penn State takes a one-point lead. Unselfish. Brilliant. Philly. With cool right in here, we'll just see that cut because of the double. Everybody thought he was going to elevate and shoot it, or at least try and drive it. And right behind, what a read. Ooh, we talk about his defense. Intelligent approach at Oak Hill Academy. A little dance. Overbite. Big time. Send it in. Ooh. Ohio State last time out. That eliminates the opportunity to throw it to half court and get a timeout. So now they're going to have to set up screens, try and get something to half court. They put 3.1 on the clock. Well, on this particular play, you don't want to speed dribble a guy. They're, they're extending the defense, but keep everybody in front. Don't give a lead, and if anything, have them run towards the ball so they don't get that curly start at the other end. Ohio State out of timeouts. Andre Wesson will inbound. Penn State picks up full court. And now, after getting a chance to take a look, Penn State calls their final timeout. A smart play. This is exactly what they wanted to do. It looked like they had Wesson deep just to lock in the big guy. Actually, Penn State with one more timeout remaining. Now both clubs really played great defense. All. It's just these stars have elevated others' play and played in an extraordinary fashion. They had a defender on the inbound passer, so that negates maybe the vision to get it to half court. We saw a Michigan-Maryland game earlier this year in Ann Arbor in which John Beeline, similar situation, went up the sideline mm -hmm. and managed 
to get his team to draw a foul on Maryland. Where do you want to go? I'll here, say, coach? Well, you may not have many choices, but it's, it depends on the. This is the exactly. Well, this is. How about this, Evan Turner? Similar situation. My goodness, big time player. You want to keep everybody in front of you here. They got two back. Nobody on the inbounder. C.J. Jackson, three seconds. C.J. Jackson in the front court. He lets it go. Oh, and no For the third time this season, Penn State has defeated Ohio State. None bigger than this one, though, as they advance to the semifinals of the Big Ten Tournament. 69-68 the final. Josh Reeves with the game winner. Put it in Tony Carr's hands. Some magical happen for this team. You see Mike Watkins enjoyed it as well. What a heartbreaking loss for Ohio State. But an exhilarating win for Penn State as the Nittany Lions win their 21st game of the season. They just went too long, too deep. Really not a speed dribble to get over the timeline. No question that would not have been good. Coach Chambers, he can pump his fist about this one. The Nittany Lions scored the last five points of the game. Carr finishes with 25. Lamar Stevens with 15. Garner had 13. Bates Diop for Ohio State with 25. But this will be one to remember for Josh Reeves. Slipped to the cut. basket on that cut. <laughs> and who found them? Tony Carr. All right, let's go to Rick Visa. Gus, thank you, Pat. Take me through the game-winning possession. How much was drawn up? How much it, was it on Tony to simply make a play and find Josh? You know what? We wanted to get Jackson was one on Tony all game, so we wanted to get Jackson off of him. And then when we sent our five-man D out, they were doubling him. So we sent Josh Reeves the last couple possessions. We knew we were in the one-on-one, -on -one and we wanted to get downhill. That last play with Josh when he second cut, so we called a Sonic, and he just made, Tony made the exact right read. Three times against Ohio State, three wins to your credit. Why was this matchup so favorable for you? You know, we both play small. We're both tough competitors. You know, we don't give up an inch. They got great players. He's a great coach. I mean, it's just, hey, we, we won it by one. That's how good of a game it was. You move on. What's the first thing you say to your team when you get inside that locker room? Rest up. Pat, appreciate, next one. appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Gus? All right, Rick, thank you very much. Coach, your final thoughts? Unbelievable performance, I think, by Carr on a consistent basis. And uh, Bates Diop left it all out there as well. All right, Penn State advances to the semis. They will take on the winner of our next game between Rutgers and Purdue. Stay tuned. Big Ten game break presented by SoFi is coming up. This has been an exclusive presentation of the Big Ten Network. For Coach Rath and Rick Pizzo, I'm Gus Johnson. Stick around. We'll be back here for game two in 25 minutes. Welcome into our show five game break down to the wire. Penn State and Ohio State. Tony Carr, the great dish to Josh Reeves, who throws down the jam. Nittany Lions on top by one. One last chance for the Buckeyes. They do not convert. And Penn State moves on. 69-68, the Nittany Lions into the semifinals for Pat Chambers as they advance and move one step.